Okay, so hot strings are very powerful, I'm sure you've heard, but they have a couple of issues because of which I don't use them <laughs> at all. So I made them better. Let's go over why I think they're bad. Well, it's not really what I think. I think they're hard to use. Imagine you have a hot string that when you type btw it automatically turns it into by the way please use your imagination imagine that this is now by the way but what if i in some situations didn't want that to autocomplete what if i actually want to type btw okay in that case let's make a hot string that only autocompletes when you press tab okay btw tab and actually well it turns into by the way but i wanted browser stop for some reason in vs code you can press tab to autocomplete and i use that ridiculously much which is why you'll often find my method and class naming to be very long because it doesn't matter at the end of the day but if i have a hot string that might mess with me Having the mental power drained on remembering which hot strings I have and when they might autocomplete is pretty annoying. Okay, maybe btw and instead of tab to autocomplete a hot string, you press dot. Well, what if I wanted a dot? And so on. It kind of goes infinitely with hot strings. So I wanted to have a way to decide specifically when I want a hot string and paste that hot string. And I made that a thing. So when I press a hotkey, you're going to have a different one, so it doesn't matter. Now I have a clean input box, which is actually a video that I um, have on my channel. And I can use that uh, clean input box to type in something that something is my hot string. So I have a couple. Uh, let's type gh and here we go. It just pasted the github link. And it did so immediately as I typed h. I didn't need to press enter, which is pretty much the only reason why I actually like using this. Because in my usual runner, uh, I actually need to type in some stuff and then press enter for that to do its thing. In its context, it makes sense, but for hot strings, I want them autocompleted. By the way, the runner, which is the other thing I use for a bunch of stuff, I also have a video on that. So let's actually go to the code and see how it operates. So hot stringer, but before we do that, clean input box. Just so you know, it's ends in lib-v2 tools clean input box. Um, yeah, we won't go over the code because I go over it in my video on clean input box. But we use that for the input box. Yeah. Okay. So we have a hotkey here, and then two maps. First, for dynamic hot strings, essentially stuff that can change. Here we have red num. Let's type that in. Red num. Great, a random number. And another random number. It's a different value every time, which is why it's a dynamic, uh, it's a dynamic hot string. And then static hot string, which are just the same things every single time. A recent one that I added is lib. I have a git linker, essentially a way for me to convert a path into a GitHub link. So let's imagine lib-v2 and then say abstractions. I use this very, very often. And by the way, it's not p, it should be gl. But um, typing lib-v2 is too long, so I can turn on my hot stringer, type lib, and here we go. Just lib and then the dash, then v2, and then also a slash. It gets annoying after a while. 
and then I can abstractions and once again I uh, typed P in the front. It should be GL but that's not the point. The static hot strings are just strings which are always the same. It doesn't have to be separated for you though, that's just my idea because it ends up being a bit cleaner I think. So first we get an object of clean input box. Usually how you would use it is clean input box, well you instantiate it and then wait for input. And then let's show that in an info. I run my test script, here we go, some text. Essentially here we had the input box and wait for input does only one thing, it holds the thread until you actually typed in the input and then it returns it. But as you saw with a hot stringer, it pastes the hot string as soon as it finds it. I'm not going to lie, actually I wanted to type in GHM, but since GH got caught before, I didn't have a chance to, which is why I got flustered and I should change that to something else. Uh, so that's the downside. It will catch whatever catches first. But that's not that difficult to go around and that makes me more concrete with what I pick for my hot strings. So clean input box, we get an object of that. We remember the handle of the window for later and have an output variable which will store the text that we get. Great. Or maybe not that. Well, we'll get to it. While output is false, so the while loop starts, uh, we just break this loop if uh, this window doesn't exist anymore. But if it does, try to get the text that's typed in here. Great. Do the dynamic hot strings map have that text as a key? So maybe you type in time. Yeah, I'll type it like that so it doesn't actually do anything. You type in time, it checks. Is this text in this map? If yes, it does its thing. If no, um, yeah. If yes, it gets that as output. All right, but if it's not there, maybe it's in static hot strings. If it is, we get that as output. So the value here, uh, like this, yeah. We get the value. Same thing about the dynamic hot strings. And eventually we'll get output. And if we got it, then first of all finish this window and uh, clip send the output, which is the same as send, but better. It's faster and I have a video on that as well. Now what is finish? Finish is essentially destroy for clean input box. One thing that has to be remembered about GUIs is that sometimes when you destroy it, usually yeah it activates the window behind it, but sometimes some other window, which gets annoying because it only happens sometimes, but if you first minimize the GUI and then destroy it, that doesn't happen and that's why we have finish, which once again I probably explain in the video on that. <laughs> this video is like half on clean input box because that's pretty much what we're doing here. We're using the clean input box API to make hot strings better. So to reiterate, uh, while we don't have output, output being the values in these two maps, could be just one map for you. Um, while we don't have input, but the input box exists, we continuously try to get that output. So this or this. And once we do, uh, we close the GUI, activating the window behind it, and send that output. 
And the reason why this exists is because we can open this thing, even type in something, but then just press escape to cancel the whole operation. And that's why we check if output, then actually do things. But if it's false, and it will be, if we press escape, then it's all good. <clears throat> okay, yeah, that's pretty much it. So there are a couple of things that I use pretty often here. First of all, rednum, which I already uh, showed you off, but then chars, which just gives me a random string of random characters. Uh, yeah, it's in char generator, which is in lib-v2 utils char generator. And yeah, by the way, I leave a link to my GitHub profile under every video. So if you want to check my code out, then you can. Uh, then there are getting random Russian or English words, but most importantly, getting dates. So say we do dates W, uh, I already forgot. What was it? Oh, current date. I should work on the naming because it's not perfect right now. And here we go. I'm recording this on the 25th of February. Uh, and then we can also have time, I think. Yeah, and we got time. So here I just decided myself when I wanted to use a hot string and me typing time, which is a very mm, fitting name for a hot string, but a horrible decision if you're actually going to make a hot string with that. So I hope you see why this is a reasonable idea. And if you think it isn't, uh, ask Alice Story how to make it better. He's ridiculously good at being uh, reasonable. I am not reasonable. I mean, my nickname is Axel Fubler. What the fuck? How did you come up with that? Good question. So, if you enjoyed this video, press a like, type some comment, maybe you have a question or suggestion. Definitely subscribe so you don't miss my content, but most importantly, stay fresh, cheese bags! Now, I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!